Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this video, what we're going to do is make up a form on our HTML page that we can allow the user to submit some sort of data that can then be used to interact with our database. So for example, I could have a form where they enter the name of a student and then I use that name that they have entered to go into my database and select that student from the database. So for example, if they enter in Edward, then it'll only select the first person in my students table, Edward Smith. So in order to do that, I'm going to firstly make up the form. So the form is just going to be inside a form tag and you need to spef specify the method for submitting the information. There's two methods you can use, get or post. Um, post is probably the more secure one because the data is not displayed as part of the URL, part of the address. Uh, but there are a lot of other differences, but you can um, probably look that up yourself and then the action is going to be the file that this um, information gets submitted to and we're just going to submit to um, the same file the same page so the page is called form test.php so I'm basically submitting the information to myself and then what I'm going to do is change the title. So I'm going to say form example, form submit example. Okay. So in this form slash form, right? So the actual form is going to be in between these two tags and all I'm going to have is basically a single text box. I'm going to have name, colon, and then I'm going to put in a tag called input type equals text. So this is just going to be a text box. And the name of the text box is going to be called um, just put just put first name. First name. <clears throat> so that's the name of my text box. And then I'm going to have a line break. And then I'm just going to have a submit button input type equals submit. So this is just going to be a submit button and name equals submit value equals submit. So basically this is saying I'm going to create a submit button. The name of the submit button is submit the value that it shows so the actual text appearing on the button is going to say submit and then I got the end of the form. So if I save that, upload it and have a look at the results on the website. So this is all I have right now. I can put in a name, click submit. Nothing happens. Well, it something did happen. It submitted the text to the same file form test.php but it doesn't do anything to process the information so in order to make it do something i'm going to borrow the code that we typed out from the last lesson so if you guys remember the last lesson where we connected to the database and we selected some information from the database okay so we've got um, this code here for connecting to the database. I'm not going to write that out again. So I'm just going to copy and paste that into the body section. So this is the code for connecting to the database. Okay, I've got connecting to the server with my username, address, database name. And it tells me whether my database is connected. And then what I'm going to do is, uh, wait, I'm only going to make it connect to the database if I have received information from a form. 
So this is the PHP code. So let's close off the PHP code first. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of this underneath an if statement. So I'm going to say before all of this, I'm going to say if bracket, if um, I can detect that information has been submitted. So dollar sign underscore server uh, square bracket um, quotation mark requests underscore method quotation mark square bracket. So <clears throat> what that means is if inside the server uh, array, okay, um, the request method slot has the value posts. So that basically this just tells you that something has been posted. Then I will connect to the database. Okay, so I put all of this inside it, press the tab key to indent the code. So save it. So all of this should only run if something has been posted. So let's save it, upload it. Okay, now if I refresh the page, uh, press enter again. So nothing happened, but if you submit something, so let's call it Edward, click submit. Look what happens. It says connection established. So <clears throat> all of this code has been executed because it's detected that you've submitted some information. So now what I'm going to do is retrieve what you've submitted and output that to the screen. So I'm simply going to go <clears throat> make up a variable, I'm going to call this variable name, equals. Now everything you've submitted will go inside a variable called dollar sign underscore posts. Okay, and this array is going to have everything you've submitted inside this array. But we're going to retrieve the element uh, first name because remember where you named your text box. So whatever was in your text box is going to go inside this first name slot of the post array. Okay, so let's display that. So echo name. Okay, so whatever you submit, okay, if you upload this file. Whatever you submit is going to be whatever it says up the top. So if I submit hello, click submit, hello shows up. If I submit Eddie, Eddie shows up and so on. So that's pretty good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the SQL using this variable. So I'm going to put in here the code for running the SQL. Copy all of this. SQL, select ID, whatever, copy all of that. Output the results, copy all of that, close the connection, all that's going to be part of this. So let's paste all that here. Okay, so after it's echoed what I've entered, what I'm going to do is select from my database, my students, where the first name equals, where the first name equals what I have entered. So, um, hang on. So I'm going to go where uh, first name equals, okay, and then in order to put this uh, variable straight after that, I'll finish the quotation mark and then I'll use the dot operator to join 
the variable name onto it. Okay, and um, now it also needs a quotation mark, I believe, because it's a string. So I'm going to use a single quotation mark here, and then I'm going to finish the sentence off with another single quotation mark inside double quotation marks. So what this means is basically where first name equals single quotation and then the value inside the name variable dot and then another single quotation and that hopefully should select the information. Okay, so let's save that, upload it, and just see what happens. So you can see here, if I type in Emma, then one line should come out. So let's try it. Emma, submit. Look what happened. Emma came out. Okay, now why, why does it say Emma twice? Because I have typed in Emma, I have echoed Emma again here. So you can delete that first echo, put it up, and if you refresh it, okay, look what happens. I have Emma Jones 3.5. If I type in Edward, all right, this comes up. Now, the downside of that is if you type E, nothing happens. So instead of where first name equals, you can change it so that if you just type E, it shows everything starting with E. Okay, that would make it a lot easier. So let's try that. So let's change the uh, symbol equals to like, and then have a bit of a space, and then you have single quotation mark, and then instead of just uh, going to name straight away I'm going to put name and then a percentage sign after that first quotation mark and that should mean that everything starting with what you're entering so if we save upload that see what happens so if I put E uh, let's refresh it first if I put E submit Look what happens. Edward Smith, Emma Jones. What if I just put Emma? Will Emma still come up? Yes. So let's put E. Both Edward and Emma comes up. What else is there? If I put J, Josh should come up and so on. Okay, that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.